because I got a team of four people. Their entire job is to do nothing but sit around and do this data and cycle the data and manage everything and look at everything. And here's how that looks. So on my screen, and when you watch this recording, you'll see that I have, remember the breakout rooms? The data team, got Angeli, Manny, Maureen, and Grace. There's the four people, just so if everybody knows, we ain't lying. There we are, right there. There's my data team, live on the job doing that. They're right now, they're pulling data, rotating lists, taking our KPIs, tracking it, because there's no tools in the industry that do any of that. We have to manually do that. Today, we're gonna build the tools to do this automated in the future. I'll show you how our spreadsheets, we have some pretty wicked spreadsheets. I just gave Manny a, a raise and bought we do prizes, so we do like the Wheel of Fortune, and they can spin and all that. We had our team meeting today, you gotta spin, because I'm just oh, so amazed wow, by the wow, visuals and the thing. Hard. Until It's just to buy time until I can build oh, the KPI wow. tracker that we're building. Some really <laughs> phenomenal tools and stuff to come down because we have a really amazing team that gives us such great insight and ability to look at where are we failing? How can we get better? We're doing great here. How can we make it even better? What's not working so we can tweak it, change it and make so double down on the stuff that's working, cut out the stuff that's not working. Let me show you one other thing here. We're kind of rolling through all this. So we have, here's our call center. Here's what that looks like. Here's a look at the team. This is what's happening right now behind the scenes. Here's all the team members today. This is a live view of today, April 14th. Here's all the team members that are on the phones. Here's their productivity levels. This is our team meeting right here. So you can see like uh, everybody's in red. It's because we were all meeting. We're calling 158 phones right now. As you and I are talking, 160 lines are being dialed this second. And this is how we get to 7 million dials a month is this is a live look at all the numbers, you know, everything that's happening. And that's all determined by this. So here's the callers. Got David out to lunch. We got Desiree waiting for a call. Daryl's on a call. Charlene's on break. She's on a call, 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 call. We got right now six people on phone calls. We got our QA team up here. These are our QA team members. And I think that's everybody. Sometimes these get hidden behind one another, but at any given time, we'll have 10 to 15 people. I think 18 is like how many seats we have. So on average, we'll have 10 to 15 people on the phones, like on calls at any given time generating leads. And those leads go from here to Podio, what I just showed you, then QA handles their thing. So your question was what happens before the lead? So the first thing we do is pull our data, raw data. Then we skip trace it and then we bear the way I showed you there. Then we break it up into phone one, two, three, four, five, the data team comes in and they upload those lists in here manually. Then the data team also rotates those lists and that's how we're able to generate the most amount of leads in the least amount of time with the least amount of effort compared to just randomly letting these systems do randomly calling phone numbers, randomly having the system choose which number to call. How many times did we call those six numbers that we got for Acosta? Who knows? Nobody can tell you. We can because we keep track of all of that. We have our KPI tracking the data and keeps track of that. So the cold callers get on the phone like these ladies and gentlemen that are on here right now that you're seeing, they're all on there. The lead gets generated. It goes to QA. We have a call center QA, which is another app. Just like acquisitions has their own. Dispositions has their own. Call center has their own. Those leads come into the call center workspace and then the QA listens to the call and they have no dog in the fight. So they're just objectively listening and taking notes and trying to see if there are any corrective action. Is the caller doing their job correctly? Is this a lead? What notes can I leave for acquisitions? They're attaching the call recording. And then after they're done running their quick calls, just say how much would Zillow, how much did Propstream, how much did Bat, how much did these companies say this thing is worth? They put all that in there, they send it over to you. They send it to Temple. And then from there, we push that lead from there to acquisitions. Acquisitions does their part. So